Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing him some of my favorite books and from the cover and title he's going to try and have to guess what they're about and then after he guesses if he's wrong I'll tell him what it's actually about. I just want to point out I had a cuter shirt on and then we tried to whiten her teeth and I got the black stuff all over the shirt. It was like so cute and now this is just so boring. It was like a cute striped and it was like a v-neck and this is just not what I wanted to wear for this video but it's Okay. <laughs> Made the first one really easy on you. Oh wow. Harry Potter. Can I tell us what that's about? I don't know. Come on, this is your one free ticket I gave you. It's the first Harry Potter? Yeah. I don't know, guy, uh, little kid, it's a uh, dark sorcerer, kind of drop kicks him in the forehead, makes that mark on his head, and trying to figure out ways to kill him. You should never become a book reviewer. Harry <laughs> Potter, do you have anything positive to say about it? Uh, he... Strong boy. He goes to Hogwarts and... He meets his friends. And is happy. That's the only thing. That's pretty much... Believe it or stuff. not, he's actually a huge Harry Potter fan. He loves the movies, but he's just... I don't know what you're doing right now. You know... I'm just giving a summary of it. He just goes to know. Hogwarts and meets his friend. That's pretty much what he does. That's pretty much the whole book is that, that, no, that part No, There's so much. Splintered by A.G. Howard. A girl's going into some, uh, woods area and meets all these insects. And she's weird and gets them crawl all over her. Read that part. Welcome to the real Wonderland. That should help you out some. You don't know a girl what, that's seen stuff and just makes her go to. You don't know what Wonderland area. is. No. You you don't know Alice in Wonderland. No. Yeah, I did, but no. I don't really. I don't uh, read that stuff. All right. Well, general. it's about this girl, and she's the like great great grandchild of Alice in Wonderland and her and her mom hear insects talk and her mom's in an insane asylum it's about her discovering that Wonderland is actually real and that there's a reason she hears insects as they're trying I to... I think she needs to go to an insane asylum. No, because she because she's hearing one... insects. That's no, healthy. but listen, they're telling her to get back to Wonderland because there's an issue that she has to fix. Because Wonderland is real and this is the great... Is real life? Yeah. No. <laughs> Favorite book of all time. Open your eyes. The School for Good and Evil by Soma Shinami. By Shingen Namami. Uh, people who's bad and good goes to the school and they fight. That's pretty close. I mean, they go to... They go to the school for good and evil and they get separated depending on their personalities. It's kind of the same, like idea of Hogwarts you know they have different houses but it's the school for good and evil and they're like basically getting trained to become like fairy tale people like in this book like supposedly like Cinderella went there and so like this evil is getting trained to be villains and the good is being trained to be like princesses and princes and stuff like that I got this book in some case. look at how beat up this book is for me I've had it for so long <laughs> This is how old it is. It has written how many AR points it is. <laughs> Next book. We're the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This one's hard because you can't tell at all from the cover what this is about. I talked about this. I've read this really recently. People up in the going up in the sky or something like that and looking down at people and like a satellite or something like that. You were close with going up into sky. And seeing people walk around and stuff and they're like little ants. Like you know how we see yeah. ants that are super small? That's how people up there seems to us. Seems what like, do you, you know, call people up there? Gods? No. If Dementors? The, no. That's Harry Potter. I know. If there was something up in the sky that wasn't human it would be a and well, Gryffindor and have as an alien. <laughs> yeah, so it's about you were close with the sky part. It's about this kid who gets abducted by aliens 
and he gets the choice if he presses the red button that saves the world and if he doesn't that world ends and he's like really depressed and happy with life so he doesn't know if he wants to save the world because he doesn't know if it Holy deserves shit. to be saved it's about him learning Man. about how to love the world it's a really oh, beautiful love the, story i love saying that kill yourself kid Don't like save the a, world and kill yourself if you're really that well depressed. no i mean it's a it's a like kind of like a discovery of like life or whatever kind of type of thing and like the meaning of life by the way, when I said they, the whole kill yourself kid, I didn't really mean anything about that. Like I kind of got got triggered because he's debating on. Ending I, the world I get what you're saying. I get like, what you're saying because you're ending other people's lives. Yeah, and I'm really like, happy. I, I'd be like, why end billions when mm. you just end yourself? Are you really that? Depressed? I think the point is, is that he's like really unhappy because he's getting like bullied and stuff, and like he, the, he does he doesn't know if they like if like doesn't human. Humankind deserves to live because of their cruel. Damn. But it's a beautiful story. The only thing you gotta do is take some like cyanide and you'd be fine. Last book, Four Weeks Five People by Jennifer Yu. Uh. <laughs> uh, Four Weeks Five People. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so bad. I oh! Know. I don't know. Five people. You have to date five people in four weeks? No. I don't know. What's wrong with you? That was a good guess, but. These five people. Hey, this is such a serious book. You can't be laughing while I talk about this. Come on. It's about five teenagers who have mental illnesses and they go to this camp to try and get better and it's about their stories of trying to get better and like getting help and starting to enjoy life more and like start to help them get over their mental illness. Well not get over it necessarily but just learn how to deal with it better. Would they have anxiety or something? <laughs> no, <I just> mess. <laughs> I mean, one has an eating disorder that OC Chl Clarissa has... Chlamydia? Has o no. This is serious. Has OCD. Andrew has the eating disorder, and then Andrew's probably skinnier than possum shit. I mean, they they they're never so skinny. They never said what Ben had necessarily. Ben probably had. They just said like he was more into movies than reality. He just didn't really want to be around people, and then probably they, watching too much Harry Potter. <laughs> and then Mason is a narcissistic. And then, what does that mean? That they're, they're you're self-centered. Yeah, well, he's a jock. He's probably played, yeah, played, played, I, played basketball or something like that, or football. I don't remember, but I, I've read this a while ago. And then Stella, um, hold on, just doesn't. I don't even remember what Stella had either. It doesn't. I say. think she needs to get drop kicks. I said it says doesn't want to be back for a second summer. I think she wants to be killed instantly. This is such a serious topic, and you're just like making jokes. No, not. Yes, you are. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed him struggle to try and figure out what these books are about. I, I, I did pretty good for like half Yeah, of you did really good. I was impressed with the, um, we are the ants. ants. Yeah, you were close with the sky part. Harry Potter you got. And no, I don't know. Yeah, you did. And then like, I think the other three. Well, yeah, you got the school for good and evil too, which I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. So you got three out of five, I would say. Don't. Is that my fault? No butt fingerprints on my camera. This is fluffy. Alright. <coughs> I didn't even say bye. Well, say bye. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't choke. I, w I can't help it. Before the record, I offered to get him tea and he didn't no, want he, it. No, she said, you're not getting any tea. Like, Can I please have it? I was like, no. No. And I felt bad because I thought I'd make it look like I didn't get him anything. Yeah, well, she didn't, so... You missed out on this. Smell it. Drink it. If you could get this spill on my bed. Isn't it good? That sounds like watered down milk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!